Hey, Wade. Am I ready? Frankly, yes. Hey, everybody, this is the legendary Wade, and I'm here once again in my storage space doing self archaeology. And uh, today is part three of New Jersey music. We love New Jersey music all the time. Frank Sinatra himself, I snuck many times, I'd say four or five times, to see Frank Sinatra. Starting in the, in the 70s when I saw him at the Garden State Art Center, I couldn't climb over the fence because the holes in, that were, uh, in the fence were like this big. So I took my shoes off and I threw them over there, made the commitment, and got to see Frank, okay? And maybe the sixth row or something like that. I must have been in my uh, teens then. But right over there, look, here he is. Uh, the chairman of the board. Okay, no, no, okay, the chairman of the board because yes, Frank Sinatra, he was, he was the king of music for a long time. And one of the reasons I moved here to Philadelphia was because of this man here. All right. Right over here, the sounds of Sinatra. When I first came to visit friends here in uh, South Philadelphia, there were giant stereo speakers out in the street, okay, playing Frank Sinatra every Sunday. It was like heaven on earth. Everybody up and down the streets of South Philadelphia. And the man who was playing this was the sounds of Sinatra with Sid Mark, S-I-D, not to be compared or not to be confused with W-I-D, but we have the same birthday, Sid and I. And right over here, here's to Dolores just saying, okay, yes, uh, classic black and white pictures, never before shared with the public. Sid, I liked a real lot, and here it is, Sid, S-I-D, and uh, that's a very easy way to sign your autograph. But look how beautiful, okay, the sounds of Sinatra. And then uh, here's, a, here's a turntable with a little arm right over there. And it's a... And it's orange because? Orange was uh, Frank Sinatra's favorite color. He was right there. Just like the colors here at the, uh, at the storage spaces on all the doors. That's, that's what I'm but, uh, in New Jersey, the most New Jersey of New Jersey, born in Hoboken, New Jersey, all right? But right, uh, he used to play the Latin Casino. The Latin Casino was over in, uh, it was on... Uh, uh, the, 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 70. No, it was on Route 70 in New Jersey, but it started out in downtown Philadelphia. And uh, they all played there, then it moved over to New Jersey, to Cherry Hill, New Jersey, where the mall is. But you, you've seen, if you've seen one mall, you've seen them all, okay? But right over there was the Latin Casino, and this is a Latin casino, ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Uh, uh, what does that mean? It was going to be, about this series, it was going to be imploded. Okay, the Latin casino that was later the disco Emerald City, okay, was going to be torn down. And here's Frank Sinatra playing there at the Latin casino. He was probably the biggest uh, that they ever had uh, there. Uh, the ring-a-ding-ding -ding part was uh, this part right over there, the ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, which, uh, you know, Sinatra was known for, okay? That's, that, that's his jaunty period. That's when he got done putting on the clown makeup and crying and everything. That's, uh, you know, that's ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. That's the Frank that I love. But right over here, the Latin Casino, and they were going to implode it, okay, right after Veterans Stadium. I love Veterans Stadium, uh, you know, but, Look, look, I'm up to bat. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> look, yeah, I got back, back to back homers. Okay, I'm sorry about that veteran stadium. But that was, they had a series about that, in, uh, about things that were being imploded. And um, Latin Casino was one. It was replaced by the Hyundai World Headquarters. Okay, look. And Right over there, Frank Sinatra, the most famous thing to happen on that stage, Jackie Wilson. Jackie Wilson, Arit, all right, Arit Petit, uh, all that big time on, on Motown and Brunswick Records. Lonely Tear Drops. He had his heart attack right on stage there. And he hung around for a couple more years, I think, and uh, went through all sorts of things. Ring a ding ding, that's what I want to talk about. Frank Sinatra sneaking in to see him in, uh, uh, at 
when he was down in Atlantic City, beautiful Atlantic City. He used to play at the resorts all the time. And uh, I snuck in several times to see him there, got backstage, and then all of a sudden I felt, what are you doing here? I says, I'm listening to Frank. They kicked me out right away, all right? But that was one of the first, only concerts that I ever snuck into that I got thrown out, okay? But it was Frank. And uh, let me say this, Mr. Sinatra, uh, it's your world, we only live in it. That's the ladies and gentlemen, that's the legendary Wid doing self-archaeology on himself in a storage space. Come back and see me.